Yo guys, it's Chris here, back in the video, and today we are discussing some very sad news about Forza Motorsport 7. As you read by the title, there are no longer Toyotas in Forza Motorsport 7. Oh no, how could this be? Oh no, how could it be? No more Toyotas in Forza Motorsport 7. And I don't know why I'm saying no more, because there wasn't any to begin with, but... Dang, that that sucks. I mean, Toyotas were, are one of my favorites in the car world for, like, Forza Horizon 3. I really love the GT86. Uh, you know, I, uh, that, um, I know some people like the Matrix and stuff like that. But, dang, this, this car was just so good and all that, but it's not going to be in the game. And I know people like to race the GT86 and stuff. So, but no, that's not going to be a thing anymore. What I'm skeptical about, though, is that, don't get your hopes down, Toyota's going to make their way in Forza Motorsport 7. They just want to make news for themselves and make themselves more, like, I don't know, more popular, if that makes any sense. Because, think about it, if Porsche came into Forza Motorsport 6 and Forza Horizon 3 late, it made a buzz around them. It made everybody think throughout the whole year the game was out whether or not Porsche was going to be in the game. And when they came out, there was a big talk around it. There were a lot of videos around it. My friend, YouTube friend Hyrex HD, made a video about Porsche, got 60k views on it. So they definitely got a lot more name for themselves than Toyota did this year. And I know Toyota and Porsche are two different things, but I think you understand where I'm coming through here. So this is what I think is going to happen. There is no reason why Toyota wouldn't lease a contract for Forza because who doesn't want people to race with their car and then buy it? Because I never knew what this car was. I always knew that there was a BRZ, but I never knew the Toyota 86 was here. And now I really want the 86 more than the BRZ. So. This is what I think is going to happen. I think towards the end of Forza Motorsport 7, I'd say the second expansion pack or one of the last car packs, kind of exactly like Porsche did, there's going to be news around Toyota the entire year, whether or not the new car pack or the new expansion is going to have Toyota in it. And then they're going to drop it. There's going to be plenty of Forza-thons on it. There's going to be a lot of opportunities to get their car, and they're going to have a lot more talk than they would have if it was just automatically in the game. Now, now that Porsche is going to be automatically in the game, it'd be different if they if they weren't on the uh, cover. If Porsche wasn't on the cover, I think it'd be different. But I mean, like Lamborghinis never, like Lamborghini wasn't on the cover of Forza and Three, and people still like Lamborghinis, but didn't have as much buzz as Porsche did. So I, I think it's all a huge, big marketing strategy. And I think you need to share this to other people. Get it through their head that you're probably still going to see Toyota. And there's no reason Toyota wouldn't want people to use the 86, the Supra, the Matrix, the Prius, uh, the MR2, and any if they do, if there are trucks in the game, the Highlander and uh, Matrix, or Mat yep, Matrix the helix or something stuff like that so yeah don't get don't get your hopes down uh there's still gonna be toyotas for you this you're just gonna have to wait a little bit and when i mean a little bit you're probably gonna have to wait till like july again because that's just what they do yeah peace